I looked to Joey and I think he's just doing a day before yesterday. He done a, a video in in Spain. Uh, he's he's got a good tan, but his legs. What's he done to his legs, mate? Them legs ain't they can't be his legs. I mean, he's got a big upper body, but no got not got no legs at all. His legs are too tiny. They look really really tiny, mate. Comparison to him, that means he's not training. He can't be training two legs like that. No way, you know. Um, he looks about eight in seven and a half, eight in stone, but he's big at the top. He is big, but he's, he, he he wants to do some running about or some leg work, some squats, running on machines, do some run, road running, but his legs look really, really bad, you know. Um, he's never gonna get, he's never going to get a fight with, uh, with, with what's he called, no, with uh, John, John Fury, never in a million years. That won't ever happen. I mean, you know, no matter what, that would never happen because I think Tyson actually would never let his dad get in the ring and fight. He loves his dad, you know, no matter what all, all, all the bickerings they have, uh, John Fury could not fight Joe Egan. John Fury could not fight Mickey Fio. And I'm telling you, there's no way that, that Tyson Fury would allow his dad to get in the ring just in case it killed his dad, which is possible, which is quite possible because his dad's a quite a nil man, you know what I mean? But I like to see Mickey Fio fight Joe Egan. Mickey Fio is a very fit man, you know. I know people are going to say, yeah, but you love Mickey Fio. No, it's not I love him, it's because he keeps himself really, really fit. And, you know, you can see he's in good shape. He's, he's in really good shape. And he used to squat phenomenal weights. He used to squ squat six, seven hundred pound, you know, eight hundred pound, like 450 kilos on his back, you know. So that's going some, you know, for reps, not for singles, for reps. And you know that's power, and you doesn't don't really lose that power. You lose a bit here and there, but you don't usually lose that power. He's still got that, you know. That's why he's a little bit flat for it because of the power he's got. Yeah, um, I haven't seen him training um, now uh, for two, about two and a half years, but he does train regular. He trains maybe five times a week, running, skipping, bag work, pad work, and all that. He still trains every other day or every day. There's not a lot out there. There's Joe, definitely Joe Egan don't train. You can see that by the state he's in, by his legs, yeah? Uh, John Fury, he done a little bit of training, but you only see a little bit, not much, yeah? But out of them three, Mickey Fio, I should imagine he trains more than them three, tra them two train. He trains more than them two train a whole year. He trains in the week, yeah? Um... Yeah, Mickey Fio, uh, without a shadow of doubt, um, I feel I feel that uh, Joe Egan and Mickey Fio should try and get it together. Um, I think prediction wise, I'm, Joe Egan's my mate. Yeah, so as Mickey Fio is someone that I, that, that I that I talk to on Messenger and all that, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, uh, Joe Egan, I've, he's been around my place, sat down there with another another mate of mine, Danny. You know, fish and chips and all that, and they like good talk. He's a proper nice man to talk to, yeah? But I don't know if Joe Egan would ever box again. I don't know. He doesn't look fit enough to box. Would it affect him? I don't know, yeah? But if anybody's seen that video of him in Spain talking um, about people's warfare and all that, um, just look at his legs in a bad way. And it's bang, 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 nice one.